Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new special midnight offers and I actually don't have to run through these because it looks like they're not going to be limited time but they are going to be available to get. So we see here, holy crap, a 90 to 9 overall power pass? Whoa, okay. So I'm going to go over these packs and tell you if they're worth it to do first off, but we have a 90 to 91 overall power-up pass. That is pretty crazy. Uh, we also have a 85 plus overall elite player. Now this gives you two, I mean, for 20 bucks. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's worth it. It's 85 plus, so you can pull like a 90. And then we have the 90 to 91 overall power pass. I'm going to go over that and tell you guys if it's worth it to do but we do have the 285 plus we're gonna go ahead and get into this one i'll do one of these packs for you guys to show you if it's worth it as we get a 85 mike mcglinchey and an 86 melvin ingram so 20 dollars, 370 snow yeah i uh personally don't think that's worth it <laughs> i would say to stay away from those unless you really just want to get the snow but we also have the 90 to 91 overall power of pass so that is going to be 4,000 training. So if you take a look at how much training is currently going for uh, this morning, heavyweight players were actually like the best thing to actually go and get with training because of that, you know, the, the special thing that we had in the pack or the store. So as of right now, I believe it's going to be going back to the 95 overall gauntlet players. Now they quick sell for about 400, well, they're, they're about 420K and they quick sell for 13,000 training. So you're looking at about 130, 140K around there for a 90 to 90 overall power pass. Now, is that going to be worth it? I believe it actually might be. Now, the reason I say that is because there are a lot of players out right now that go for over that that you can definitely use this power up pass on if you guys decide to. So first off, let's say Michael Vick gets a new card. I know he doesn't got a new card yet, but he's bound to get a new card at some point in time. As of right now, 90 minute overall quarterbacks, and remember that's like 130K, uh, Mike Vick is currently, let's see, 190K. So that would be worth it to go ahead and get Michael Vick with as well, if you're going to be doing that way. Uh, there's also like literally all of those new Ghost of Madden Pass players that just came out, like the new Demarcus Ware, who currently is going for, let's see, how much is D-Ware? D-Ware is 175K. I actually bought this card earlier today to power up Demarcus Ware. And now I'm extremely mad that I decided to do that instead of waiting for this to come out. But I had no idea this was going to come out. Cannot be mad at that. Uh, some other players you can use this on for 90 to 91 overall power passes. Of course, a lot of people are speculating this could happen. That we could get that new Randy Moss in the game if he does actually end up getting that new power up. Uh, if he gets that gift anyways. Right now he's going for 215k. He could be going for a lot, lot more if he does actually get that new gift so is that power of pass worth it i personally believe that it is going to be worth it uh there is others you know some more players that i should would say you know you might want to use it on but i actually made a couple of videos already going over the best players to use with the 90 to 91 overall power of pass so if you guys haven't seen those videos make sure you check it out i actually if you, if you guys want me to let me know down below i'll drop a video tomorrow going over the best players to use this on personally though i am definitely Gonna be picking up this 90 to 91 overall power pass. It's about 130k, uh, maybe even a little bit less, depending on you know what you can get for training. But this is definitely gonna be worth it to get. I'm also gonna be opening up some gift packs for you guys, but as of right now, uh, for tomorrow, these are the 15 gifts that I have that open tomorrow. They're gold. Probably not gonna be anything too good. And then we also have this one, which I really don't know what it is, but it's gonna be some type of a player. So. Either I'll just quick sell for the snow, or I'll just sell the player. More than likely, probably quick sell for the snow. And then, of course, on Christmas Eve, we actually do have the Ghost of Madden present gift that we'll be opening. It does look like Cowboys colors to me, so I'm not really too sure if this could be, to be honest. Now that we have Jalen Smith. And then this one, I believe, is going to be some training points. Uh, and then, of course, 
taking a look at the new gifts that we actually have, they start opening up on the 27th. There are three gifts a day, and I actually have every single gift. So you guys see I have the 27th for this one. This is a gold. Uh, I have this one, which is an elite one, probably a Seahawks player. This is the one people are saying is going to be potentially uh, the Randy Moss. This is, in fact, a pass. You can see it says pass right there in the little snow hole <laughs> right there and then for the 28th we also have a bunch of these elite ones so maybe that'll be like an elite ironman player uh this one i do believe is gonna be desmond king for the chargers i think he's an 89 overall so i believe that might be him uh we also have this one that opens up on the 28th i'm not sure what this one's going to be i've seen some people say bradley chubb uh I, i'm not sure on that one but i've seen some people say this could be ghost of men in future bradley chubb just some speculation December 29th, these are all gold ones, and of course, we literally have, like, my god, <laughs> so many of them. We have 19 of those. We also have this one that opens up on the 29th. We actually have seven of those. That's an elite, and we have another one, which people were saying was going to be Michael Vick, but I believe this is actually going to be a Ghost of Madden present player, so I don't know who this is going to be. It's probably not going to be Mike Vick. Uh, and then, of course, the 30th, we do have these gifts as well, which this one's Juju Smith-Schuster, and I'm not too sure exactly what those are. And then I believe the final day is the 31st, which this one's going to be John Johnson, not even overall. Uh, I don't know about these ones or these ones, but let's go ahead and open up some more packs. We do have 10,000 snow. I was really hoping they would drop something uh, with snow and training points. Sadly, they dropped something with money, which whatever <laughs> it's yeah you had to kind of expect that but let's go ahead and open up some more of these gift packs see if we can get ourselves some glitch if we can get one of those new uh ghost players that's exactly what i would want to do this as we get an elite one this one once again i believe is actually gonna be john johnson not even overall so we definitely make our snow back off this but we're not gonna make a lot of coins off that seeing how it's gonna be the end of the promo well actually it's gonna be the end of the promo so there's gonna be really no need for snow hmm well, that sucks, <laughs> as we also get another gift right there. On to the next pack. Well, I guess we can always quick sell the snow and just get a bunch of Ghost of Madden players right at the end of it, as we get a Ghost player, and it's going to be the December 29th one. My pack look with these has been insane. So I do believe this is the Ghost of Madden present gift, and it's... Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly who this is going to be. Maybe a Brady, maybe a Gronk. I, I really do not know who this could possibly be, but that is a nice little pull right there. We'll open up like five more of these gift packs because we did just get a really, really good one right there. We're probably not going to get another good one for quite a while, but I believe that is my second one now. I have two of the ones that people think is Randy Moss. I have one of the other one, and then I have two of that one now as we get another the 31st one, which is going to be an elite one. So as long as they keep giving me elite ones... I will not complain about that. Can we get another ghost player, please? Okay. Or are you going to give me December 27th? Which, of course, is going to be a gold. Usually the gold ones, that means they're going to be really, really bad. So we'll do a couple more packs, though. As, okay, we get another gold. December 29th is gold. Yeah, it is going to be gold. And we'll do one more pack and see exactly if I want to do some more packs or not. I really don't because, honestly, I might just save it for tomorrow because then we're going to get some special offers in the morning, December 27th, and it's a gold. Now, it does say right here we will be getting some more packs starting off at 10.30 a.m. So, of course, when they do drop those packs, I will have a video out immediately for you guys going over the new gifts that do reveal. And, of course, maybe we'll have, like, some limited time. Probably not, actually, because we already have the Ghost of Madden cards in the game tomorrow. So, maybe it'll be something to do with snow, seeing how the last two have been with money. So hopefully we get something to give with snow. And of course, if you guys want to get this Super Bowl MVP bundle, you only have a day left to go ahead and do this. Now, I do have to say, if you're going to spend $100 on it, it might be worth it just because of the fact that the topper is literally a 99 overall Super Bowl MVP player, which overall, like literally, if you don't want the card, once that card turns into whoever the MVP is, it instantly gets a 500,000 coin quick sell. So you spend $100, you get a guaranteed 500,000 coins or the 99 overall player, which one you want to do. And then, of course, you also have the 8 Elite Player Pack, 7 Coach Packs. So I did open those in my video earlier today for, like, the Legends of Ghost of Men. I didn't get a ton of good stuff, but I got some pretty decent stuff from there. 
Uh, overall, I think the bundle is worth it just because that 99 overall Super Bowl MVP player. These packs, the two times 85 plus elite, honestly, I don't think is worth it. The 90 to 91 overall power up pass, though, I highly would recommend you guys go ahead and get this just because you never know what cards are coming out. You know, Mike Vick gets a card, this guy gets a card, whatever. You might want to go back and pick up an old legend card or something later in the year. And of course, when someone gets a new upgrade, their old card usually goes up in price. So if you guys don't want to mess around with that, Spend like 100k, 120k or so worth of training and get yourself the 90 to 9 overall power pass. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support today. It has been absolutely insane. We have like over 100,000 total views. Just absolutely nuts. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.